As the first president of the United States, George Washington was a towering figure in American history, but his connections to slavery continue to spark controversy and debate. At the time of his death in 1799, Washington owned over 300 enslaved people on his Virginia plantation, Mount Vernon. While he expressed reservations about the morality of slavery and made some efforts towards ending it, he continued to own slaves throughout his life and benefited from their labor. Upon his death, his wife Martha inherited the slaves and chose to free them on January 1st, 1801. While Washington was not an abolitionist, he did sign a Slave Trade Act in 1794 that prohibited the building of ships for international slave trade, which paved the way towards the abolishment of slavery in the United States.